Today I'm going to show you how to create monograms in Cricut Design Space. Let's get started. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to create monograms in Design Space. We're going to use the Monogramos font from Defont, so if you want to download it and follow along with this tutorial, I'll put a link in the description below. So the first thing we want to do is type out our initials. So we're going to grab our text tool, I'm going to click on the font, click on the search, and I'm going to type in Monogramos. Click on the font, and now we want to type our initials. And since our middle initial is going to be the biggest letter, we want the middle initial to be the last name, the left initial to be the first name, and the right initial to be the middle name. Now if you were going to do all three letters the same size, you would type them in the regular order of first name, middle name, last name. But since the middle letter is going to be the biggest, we want to do first name, last name, and then middle name. Okay, so with the Monogramos font selected, we're going to type out our letters, and we want to do lowercase letters, and I'm going to type A, N, C. I'm going to blow that up. So A represents the first name, N represents the last name, and C represents the middle name. Now we want to ungroup these, so I'm going to click on Advance, Ungroup to Letters. I'm going to go ahead and select all these, and I'm going to turn off the cut line, and I'm also going to change the colors of two of these so we can see them a little easier. So I'm going to click on the C, change the color, turn off the cut line. I'm going to click on the N, change the color, turn off the cut line, and then the A. I'm going to turn off the cut line and just change the color on that one too, just so they're all different. Now what we want to do is drag and select all of them. We're going to come up here to align, and we're going to align center. And I'm going to blow that up a little bit bigger so we can see it. And you can see they're pretty much lined up, but they're a little bit off. So since the C doesn't have a rounded edge, it's not really lining up right. So I'm going to select all these again. I'm going to do a line left. And then I'm going to do a line top. So now those are much more lined up than before. So now what we need to do is get rid of all the letters except for one A, one N, and one C. So the way we're going to do that is click on the shape, get a square. I'm going to drag it here, unlock this, and I'm just going to cover up that middle letter like that. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that. And now what I want to do is make two duplicates of this. Duplicate, duplicate. And I'm going to change the color of those two. So then I'm going to select all three of them, and I'm going to do align left, and then align top. Alright, now let's turn off two of those squares in our layers palette, and we'll turn off the N and the A in the layers palette. So all we have is this one box with the C. Now we want to keep this right C, so I'm going to click the box, click the letter, and I'm going to slice that. Then I can click here and delete that, delete that delete that and I'm left with these two so I just need to draw another box so I can get rid of this other C. I'll just select both of those, slice, delete, delete, delete. So we're left with this one C. I'm going to go ahead and turn that C off for a minute. I'm going to turn on my next square. I'm going to turn on the N and again we're going to select both of these, slice. This time we want to delete the yellow we want to delete the yellow, and we want to delete these two outside ends and just leave the middle one. Now we'll turn that middle end off, and we'll turn on our last box and our last letter. And what we can do with this one is click on the box, unclick the lock, and then just make this wider. But we don't want to move the left edge of the box, so that way they'll all line up. But since we're going to delete these two letters, then we'll be okay. So select that whole thing slice we'll delete the orange we'll delete all that and then we're left with our a so now we can just go here and turn back on our other two letters and you'll see that they're all still lined up perfectly because we lined them all up correctly before we started slicing it and we can select all of those we can weld those together and there you have your monogram so let's do another one let's say you have letters like d c and i and you blow those up let me move this over a little bit more. Blow this up, and we'll ungroup the letters. 
So now what we want to do is change the colors on all these so we can see them. And I'm going to select all those. I'm going to do a line, center, and you can see they're not really lined up because this letter, the blue letter is rounded on the end on this end. It's not rounded on that end. The red letter is rounded on the left, but not on the right. And then the I has the middle missing on both pieces. So what we're going to need to do is just line these up manually because there's really no way to line them up using the align tool because if we align them left, they're not going to line up. If we align them right, they're not going to line up. So I'm going to click on the blue one. And I'm going to drag it over here. Then I'm going to click this one. And I'm going to line it up here on that left side. You can see it lines up here and here. And then we can click that right one. Another thing is when you click on something, if you hold down shift, it'll drag it in a straight line. So just drag it over there and line that up, line the center eye up. And now they're all pretty much lined up. Can adjust it a little bit if we need to. So that's pretty much lined up and then you can just knock them out like we did a while ago. Okay, so we have our monogram here. I'm gonna make a duplicate. I'm gonna make a couple of duplicates of that. Just drag them over here. So now we have our monogram. Let's say you want this to have a background with the letters knocked out of it. What you can do is just grab a shape, or grab a circle, you can just make that bigger. And what we'll do is we'll arrange and we'll send that to the back so it's below our letters. And then we can just line this up. We can make that circle a little bit bigger. And then we can just grab both of these and we can do a line center. And that lines it up pretty good, but like, but you can see it's off a little bit here because of that C. So let's click on it. Hold shift and drag that straight across. Now let's click it again and hold shift and drag this back over. And we'll just have to manually line this up where it looks pretty even on the left and the right side. That looks pretty good right there. So I'm just going to let go of my mouse and let go of the shift key. And then what I can do is grab both of those. I'm going to hit slice and then we can just delete the centers out. And now we have a background with the letters knocked out of it. So let's just say that you had a background color that was pink or something. We'll send that to the back, arrange, send to back. And now you can see the letters are knocked out of that background and we can change that background to whatever color we want it to be so that the substrate behind it, like the t-shirt or your vinyl or something will show through here. All right, I'm gonna make that smaller, put that over there. I'm gonna delete this square. Another thing we can do with these monograms is use them with clip art images. So if I click on image, I want to click here on filter, free. I'm just going to type in heart. We can grab one of these free hearts. Let's grab these two, insert. And what you could do is just grab your monogram. I'm going to make another duplicate of that. Arrange, send to front. I'll make that a little smaller so it'll fit on there. We can select both of those and we'll just align them on the centers. So align center horizontally. That looks a little bit off, so I'm just going to scoot it back over. I'm just going to manually drop that in there where it looks pretty even. And then we can just grab both of those, slice, and then just get rid of those center parts and have that knocked out of the heart. Or let me undo that. Move this one up here out of the way for a minute. I'm going to grab a copy of this one with the background. We could put that one on there. Center that up. Then we could grab both of those and slice those. And then we could just knock out the purple part so that the heart and the letters are the same color, but we have the knockout around the letters. So that's a couple of different ways you can do that. You could also use this one to do the same thing with that one. Just take your letter, size it the way you want it, put that in there, grab both of those, slice, knock that out, and put your letters in there like that. Another thing you can do is uh, you can use clip art. 
and I've downloaded some anchor designs here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click upload, upload image. I'm going to drag that anchor SVG onto here and I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to click on it, insert the image. And now all of these are all stuck together. So I'm just going to ungroup all those. And some of these we don't need. I mean, you could use any of these. If you wanted to use this one that has the chevrons in it, you could just blow that up. You could make a circle. You could place that in there where you want the circle to be. Grab both of those, align horizontal, center horizontal. Then we can do is select both of those, weld those together like that. Then we can just grab a copy of our monogram here. We'll just reduce that down to fit in there. Center that up. Grab both of those, slice. Then just delete those middles. And there you have it. You have a little monogram with an anchor. And you could use this one that's already done. And you can just take your monogram, make a duplicate. Size it down. Make it fit in there. And then all you need to do is just select both pieces. And you can weld that together. So it's all one piece. And uh, anyway, if you want these little anchors, I'll put a link in the description below. And you can download these anchors for free. Uh, and you can use them for commercial use or for personal use. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description below where you can download these little anchors if you want to use them. All right, let me move these out of the way. And just one more thing, if we go back to images, I'm just going to get rid of the heart. I'm going to click on search for flower. And I'm going to click here on filter free. And so if we grab like say this little flower here, insert that image, you can blow that up. And again, we can put the letters on there. We can take the circle one here, make a duplicate, drag it over, put that on, line it up. And you can select both of those and you should be able to align those center. And that didn't really line up very good. So I'm just going to click and hold shift and drag that down a little bit. Then I'm going to click on it and hold shift and move it left to right a little bit just to line it up. So now we got that pretty much lined up. I'm going to grab both pieces, slice. Whoops, that didn't work right. Okay, so we need to make this a little bit smaller so that it's not touching any of these black lines here. And we'll move that over just a little bit. Grab both pieces, slice. There we go, much better. And we'll just delete the purple, delete that green. And then we're just left with the monogram in the middle of the flower. So that's an easy way to make a monogram. That's some easy ways that you can make your monograms fancy. Like I said, you can use any kind of clip art that you want. So you're not just limited to a heart or an anchor or a circle or a flower. You can use, you know, a lot of different kinds of clip art. So I guess that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you click the little bell icon and turn on notifications so you'll know when I upload new videos. And if you want to follow me on social media, all the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.